Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to determine a limiting reactant. So first of all, before we start, we have to know what limiting reactant is. By definition, it is limiting reactant is the reactant that determines how much product that can be formed. Okay, so now let's have a look at the question. This is the question given that I'm going to use the question that I'm going to use to um, illustrate this method by determining the amount of a reactor needed. So solutions of sodium carbonate and silver nitrate react to form solid so silver carbonate and a solution of sodium nitrate. A solution containing 3.5 grams of sodium carbonate is mixed with one containing 5 grams of silver nitrate. How many grams of sodium carbonate, silver nitrate, silver carbonate and sodium nitrate are present after the reaction is complete? So in this question, first of all, we have to determine which one is the limiting and which one is the excess reactant and once we have discovered the limiting reactant we can use that amount of limiting reactant to to predict the amount of products that can be formed in this question you are not given the chemical equation therefore you ought to know what these species are and you are supposed to write down the chemical equations yourself so let's have a look so we have silver carbonate we have um, silver carbonate and sodium nitrate formed from a reaction between silver nitrate and sodium carbonate. So we have sodium carbonate and A2CO3 and we react it with um, silver nitrate AgNO3 and what will produce we will produce silver carbonate, Ag2CO3, and we will produce we will produce sodium nitrate, NaO3. Okay, so I'm doing this in a table because with a table, everything becomes much easier to look at and everything looks neater. So now what we have to do is we have to find the number of mole provided. So number of mole provided. So because I'm doing this in a table, I don't have to put the units inside of the table. I just have to put it on the heading of the table. And so the mass of sodium carbonate provided is 3.5 grams. So this is equals to number of mole divided by MR. This should be 3.50 divided by 106. 106 is the molar mass of sodium carbonate. And you should get 0 0.03. 302 moles, whereas the number of moles of silver nitrate, you are given 5 grams, so 5.00. So it's the same number of moles divided by MR. So this is 5.00, you divide it by the molar mass of silver nitrate is 169.9. And this should be equals to 0 0.029.43. And because this is the one provided, so we do not have any moles of the product because it is not the, we can assume that the reaction hasn't started yet. Okay, so now let's have a look with this number of mole provided. What we can do is we can predict the amount of another reactant needed. So 
number of mole required. The unit is mole. Okay, and the number of mole required, so we can pick which one that we want to pick. And in this situation, I would like to pick sodium carbonate. But before we continue, let's have a look at the equation. This equation is actually not balanced. So before we can continue with determining the amount of reactants, the other reactant, we have to make sure that the equation is balanced. So in this case, so you should have a 2 here. We are in front of silver nitrate. That will be the stoichiometric coefficient. And then we need a 2 here as well. And that should be balanced. Okay. So now, so the number of mole required for sodium carbonate, so we can assume that this is fully used. The number of mole of sodium carbonate is fully used. So equals to 0 0.0. 3302 moles. Whereas if we use 0 0.3, 0 0.03302 moles of sodium carbonate, we will have twice, as you can see here, we have two um, stoichiometric coefficient with respect to one for sodium carbonate. So by using this amount, we know that silver nitrate is twice of this. So it is two divided by one. So 2 here, divide by 1 here, and we multiply by the amount of moles here, 0 0.03302, and we should get 0 0.06604 moles. Okay, so now we've got the number of moles of silver nitrate required to react with 0 0.03302 moles of sodium carbonate. So as you can see here, the number of mole of silver nitrate required, oops, number of moles of sodium of silver nitrate required to react with 0 0.03302 moles of sodium carbonate is, as you can see here, we require 0 0.06, whereas we only have 0 0.02 moles of silver nitrate. So this is much more, is more than the number of mole of silver nitrate provided. So in this case, we need more than we have. That means that the silver nitrate will be the limiting reactant. Okay, all right, now that we have determined the silver nitrate as the limiting reactant, what we need to do is we have to determine how many grams of sodium carbonate, silver nitrate, silver carbonate, and sodium nitrate are present after the reaction is completed. Is complete. So let's have a look. So now I have copied down the table again. So using the number of moles of provided, um, reactants. So what we need to do is we have to find the number of moles. Sorry. So we have to determine the number of moles used in a reaction. And because we know that the silver nitrate is the limiting reactant, so we will be using this to determine how much sodium carbonate silver carbonate and sodium nitrate are formed and used. Okay, so number of mole used for... So we know that this will be used completely because the limiting reactant, limiting reactant is used completely. So 0 
three moles. Whereas the number of sodium carbonate used, as you can see here, when comparing with silver nitrate, sodium carbonate used one when there are two moles of silver nitrates are used. Therefore, the number of moles of sodium carbonate used is equals to one over two. One divided by two here. Multiply by the number of moles of silver nitrate used. 0 0.02943. This equals to 0 0.01472 moles. Okay. And then we can see the number of moles of number of moles of silver carbonate produced. So in this case, because this the, the header here is used, so I'm just gonna write the new one here. Number of moles uh, formed is equals to, as you can see here, one in comparison to two. So 1 over 2 multiplied by the number of moles of silver nitrate, 0 0.02943, 0 0.02943, and this should be the same as the amount of um, sodium carbonate used because the ratio is 1 to 1 here. So 0 0.01. 2 moles. First, the number of moles of of um, um, sodium nitrate formed is 2 divided by 2 2 divided by 2 multiplied by 0 0.02943 and we should be left with 0 0.02943 and now that we know how much moles is used for the reactants and how much moles how many moles of um, products formed so we can look at the end of the reaction number of moles at the end of the reaction so in this case because we have given, we are given 0 0.03302 moles of sodium carbonate, but we only use 0 0.01472 moles of sodium carbonate. So we can just subtract the number of moles here, 0 0.03302 minus 0 0.01472. And we should be left with 0, 0.0. 183 moles or rather we don't have to write the number of moles here because I have already written down the unit in the header whereas for this one here for this number of moles here because this is the limiting reactant silver nitrate is the limiting reactant so it is fully used so it is 0 0.02943 minus 0 0.02943 so we should be left with zero moles and this because we started with nothing and we have formed 0 0.01472 so we can just copy it on here 0 0.01472 this one 0 0.02943 so now we can change this number of moles to the mass in grams and the end of the reaction so equals to number of moles multiplied by MR so 0 0.0183 multiplied by the MR of sodium carbonate and the molar mass of sodium carbonate is 106 and we should be left with 1.94 grams. 
okay, 1.94 grams of sodium carbonate. Whereas this one is equals to zero because we have nothing left. And then for this one, for the silver, silver carbonate, number of moles multiplied by the MR, and we should have 0 0.01472 multiplied by the MR of silver carbonate, which is 275.7. So we should be left with we should be left with we should be left with um, 4.06 grams whereas for the sodium nitrate equals to 0 0.02943 multiplied by the MR of silver sodium nitrate which is 85 grams per mole and we should have 2.50 grams of sodium nitrate formed at the end of the reaction. Okay, so I can just summarize here. The mass of the following and the end of the reaction for the sodium carbonate 1.94 grams silver nitrate 0 grams silver carbonate 4.06 grams and sodium nitrate 2.50 grams okay so I hope this video um, is clear and it's easy for you to understand um, on the steps of how to determine the limiting reactant and we can use this to predict the amount of products formed at the end of the reactions as well as the amount of reactants left at the end of the reaction. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you like this video.